So she sort of, I think maybe she feels a bit... Neglected. Neglected, but it's like, now she's not working now. Now I'm like, right, I need to get the podcast on. I need to get my stand-up in order. I need, I'm working. No, I, it's not that. No, I am working. No, no, it's not that. It's not that. I know what it is. And I've always <laughs> said what it is. You <laughs> ate too much. <laughs> <laughs> you met you beat listen, your meat. No, I'm listen, telling you. I'm telling you. I'm, no, 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 I'm telling you. She, he, she he, said that. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Luke and Pete talking sheet. The place where Luke and Pete talk that sheet every single week. How are we doing, sheetsters? How's it going, sheetsters? How are you doing, Peter? I'm um, I'm um, all right. Bit tired. Been away on tour this week with Russell Kane, so I'm very tired. Yeah, we did the we did um, Swindon, Southampton. Yeah, Torquay, Truro. Yeah. Yeah, so the whole of the bottom, the foot of England. Okay, and how was it? How did you find? How did you find your audiences? The audiences were nice. There was a couple of sheetsters in down there, so we've got listeners in. So shout out all the sheetsters that saw me in front of Russell Kane. Okay, wicked. Any any anything happened while you was away? I stayed in a couple of hotels <laughs> when I was there. Yeah, hotels are getting weird nowadays because it said four star. Yeah, I got it because basically you try and keep the cost down so you don't have to. So when Russell comes to looking at the bill, you're not like, fucking hell, what's he been doing staying at the Ritz? Mm. So you keep the cost down, right? So you go on booking.com. Some, uh, sometimes you see a cheap, you book like the cheap one, right? Mm. You know, you don't want to take Oh, so you book your own hotels? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's too, too busy to book mine. Mm. Um, So I just book my own. <clears throat> so you see some four-star ones, mm. four-star hotels. Mm. So I'm like, I'll oh, book that one. It's pretty cheap. Mm. I get there. It seems to be some. So first of all, the shower didn't work. So it just let me do the hot water. So I basically, if I had a shower, I got scalded. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right now, yeah. it was a disabled. Um, it looked like a converted disabled t- toilet bathroom type thing. Right. What do you mean? So was it like disabled? Go... Well, there was a, like a wire I could pull in case of emergency. Really? Yeah. So then I those had... toilets are always better though. No, not, th- not that I use them. I'm just no, saying. This when, one you, when, you, when, you, when you look inside, there's a lot of this sort of space. Yeah, there is a lot of space. And then I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna leave this room because I think they've given me the disabled version of of room in the hotel because it's a four star and it was a bit cranky. The room, you know, thing wasn't working. It looked a bit crooked. So I went down to reception. I was like, "Yo, can we change the room? Because I can't, I'm gonna scald myself if I have a shower." Mm. The guy was like, oh, we'll send up an engineer. I'm like, mate, it's one in the morning. He's going to send up an engineer. He's going to send up an engineer. I'm like, what are you going to start doing? Cranking the thing right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, (laughs) and I want to go to sleep. Yeah. I said, can I not just have another room? They give me another room. It's like the same room. Another disabled room. Right? So I just wanted my shower. That's all I wanted. Yeah. And when I get into the disabled, like, area, because there's like, bars on the wall and stuff everywhere where you can you know instead of using the door handle i can use the bar and swing it open there's like a <laughs> yeah. little bar right yeah and then in the the there was a shower yeah. like a table shower was um, it a table shower oh you've got a seat in it it's a little really? flap seat in it so we could did it fold away yeah it folds away so like i had a shower sitting down for the it, first it, time <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that if I, if I look through the window, if I look through the window and saw you sitting there, I'd be like, "This guy's depressed." This guy's depressed. I, I had a shower sitting down for the first time. I was like, really? literally sitting in the shower, I had a little think. Really? Yeah. And then I started, you know. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. My, my, my mom has like this thing where you put on the edge of the bar, over the bar. Oh, so it lowers you, you in. No, no, no. So you, so you can take a seat. You can sit. You can, It's like a what? Like, sit and watch them, or put your feet in it. Yeah, you can. So you put your feet and you can just sit. You can oh, sit. Right. You can sit like so it's, it's basically <laughs> like a sitting thing for the shower. Oh, you can sit in the in the bathtub. No, like it, it, it's a you pull it on it, so it it's like a bridge from one side of the bath to the other. So oh, you can sit on that yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. And you think I've never thought to use that. Yeah, but why would she use it? To just old, soak old her woman, feet. Old, old, no, no, no. Yeah, for your shower, same thing. It's the same thing. Oh, just to sit in the shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but 
there, like, there's something nice about sitting in the shower, but it is depressing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. I would not like my children to see my sons come in. They'd be like, "This man's, this man is losing it. He's losing it. I'm feeble." Uh, yeah. and they come in. Oh, sorry, Dad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at your father. Don't look at your father. I'm vulnerable. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Please. The yeah. dog, the, the dick's tucked in between my legs. Oh God. Get no, out. No, you, you sitting on a like this. Yeah. <laughs> And you know what? And you know what? I can imagine ah, me, I, with, with my book, with my book yeah. outside the bath like this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to get a page of dirt. Oh. I do one hand. But I just thought, like, because the bomb, like your bomb is on it, it's like a leathery little waterproof seat. No, no, that's too much. What? But then I was like, everyone else is bombing. Someone's cracking someone's someone's crack their ass. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I stood up after that, but I did have a think, and and, and it was depressing. Was it? And yeah, and I did other stuff. This what? thing in the shower. What do you mean? But there was a seat. Well, you masturbated in the shower. <laughs> he gave me the opportunity to, <laughs> to point the <it> toes. <laughs> me. Uh, oh, me. But it just, it goes to show that, you know, everyone can make use of facilities in a respectable manner. Mm. You don't have to necessarily... I can imagine other people that can, that don't aren't disabled that will go in there and, and, and disregard the seat. Yeah, I would. I would never think to. You never that. sit down. I've never. I wouldn't have enough thought. And now I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Next time I see one, I'm gonna try it. No, just pull but the flap down. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Or, or maybe you know. Or you know, you know, you try and do it the manual way. You pull the flap down, but you put your foot on it. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Like no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, trust me, it's a whole new uh, lease of life. I've but, got but, but, and that's, what I really like. that's what helps creativity, you know? Yeah, yeah, because when you, you see things different angles. Because you don't no, have no, to. No, just, do, just doing things differently to what you're used to doing them. Yeah, yeah, and you don't have to think about, oh, I have to use my legs. No, that's not what I mean. No, you, no, what, you, you don't. You, you, don't... you think you're going to roll up in a wheelchair? I'm, I'm, <laughs> how's my writing? How's my writing? <laughs> no, but you don't have to think, oh, because when you stand up, you have to think, oh, keep your legs locked, right? No, you don't, Pete. Yeah, you no, do. I, I do don't you think do? I don't walk around and keep my legs locked. Well, what do, what do you 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 but you subconsciously do all of that? Well, why do they say sit down, relax? Yeah, it, it, you don't it, say it, relax, it, stand up. No, no, it, relax, it, stand it, up. It, it, it is more relaxing to sit why? down. Why? Because you, you don't not, have not, to think no, about using no, your legs. Because you're not straining your legs. You're standing on your legs. You have to think to stand up, don't no, you? No, no. Okay, when you're standing, are you thinking? When I'm talking to you, are you thinking stand? I'm have to I'm stand, stand. So you standing. never think, oh, I'm gonna. Oh, this leg's getting tired because I've been leaning on that one. I'm no, 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 no. I might, I might change because I'm my legs get tired. I'm standing too long. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. No, you're of, distracted. I'm not in the middle of a conversation thinking, oh, keep standing up, keep standing up, don't sit down. No, but you do think you you have to think about standing up as well because you're like, if someone's talking to you, you'd be like, do you know what? My legs getting tired. Let's find a seat. Should we find a seat? And then you say you're now thinking about that rather than yeah, that's if you're tired. sitting down having a conversation. That's, that's once you get, but I can be sitting down for too long and my fucking ass starts hurting because I'm sitting down too long. Yeah, that, that takes a long time for you to get to that no, thought. No, no, it depends on what kind of chair you're sitting on. But that's uncomfortable now. That's when you're, you're putting yeah, but, in an uncomfortable but, 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 situation, but, but you're which is the too same long. as standing up. Too, too long, yeah. Right, so being comfortable. But if I'm standing for 30 seconds, I'm not thinking stand up. What are you thinking then? Whatever I'm talking about. But when you're no, on no, stage, yeah, yeah. are you thinking stand up? Keep on standing up. No, but I will think, okay, walk over there because you've been stood here for a while. I will think that. A lot goes into your mind when you're on stage, doesn't mm, it? Mm. Like you're like, I keep looking at that guy. Why is that guy not laughing? No, oh, no, he's no. laughed now. He must oh, be all right. I had, I had a guy last week here in the front row. Kid, he, he kept on, he, he was so funny. Like he wouldn't, he, he, he sat right in the front row, wouldn't look at me. Yeah. Like I'm right, and I'm right close next to him, but he's, he's, he wouldn't look at me. And, I'm, and I kept on mentioning, I said, you all right, mate? You sat in the front row. Yeah, no, right, but, you all right? Yeah, but they sometimes. Yeah, and he's like, he's like, and then, and then, he, and then, and then but when I started taking the piss out of him, he's like, yeah. but he laughed like this. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and kind of he could have autism as well. No, no, but That's you know something you've got to be aware of nowadays. Because like, there was a guy in the front row and he, he was in the front row and I did my uh, bit about, um, you know, when you're old and stuff. And then I got like, I'll, I'll do this act out where I grab my bits and then s splash the juice on the front row. Mm. And he went, oh. <laughs> so he didn't know where to look. Mm. Normally people laugh, but he got, cause I was directed at a tomb. Mm. <sighs> yeah, you think that's bad? Well, you think that's bad? Yeah. yeah. You think that's bad? One time a guy wasn't making eye contact with me. I was like, you look 
Look at me, man. Look, you know, look <laughs> at me. <laughs> they came up to me in the break. He's blind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's blind. Yeah. That now yeah. I've never been. His friends, his friends found it hilarious. Oh. His friends found it hilarious. Do you, you think that's bad? Yeah. You think that's bad? <laughs> I was at a gig and nobody was laughing. And and afterward, you had one of them ones where you have to walk through the crowd to get out of the venue, <laughs> right? No, this guy came up with his son. He goes, uh, excuse me, mate. My son just wanted to say he really enjoyed your performance. Really enjoyed your performance. I said, Oh, what, what's your name? And and the dad went, Oh, he, he's deaf. He is deaf. I love it. How the f*** did he enjoy it? In front of people that can hear just looking at me. Yeah, yeah, really. yeah, no, yeah. So, but that that was what I found weird because, like, I was like, how did he? You must have been able to read your lips. Really? Well, I've got a beard as well, so it's harder for lip readers. Yeah, it doesn't mean he can't do it. Yeah. You know but I mean? yeah, I thought I thought, oh, someone did like it, and then the dad told me he's deaf, and I was like, oh, great. <laughs> you can't Thanks. disregard it because he's there. No, but you can't. We, we probably paid extra. You can't attention. hear what I'm saying for <laughs> sake. <laughs> he did it head inflections. Like, 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 like different he just, levels. He just liked my rhythm. <laughs> my rhythm. That guy's, that guy's walking a lot. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he was standing here and then he walked there. But uh, yeah, you, quite. You, were, you were telling me as well, also, Charlotte's um, had a go at you. Sh oh, I don't want to talk about this on the podcast. No, no, no. She be basically honest. had a go at me yesterday. She was like, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's do just take your time. <laughs> You know, you want to try, try to get, try to steam uh, right uh, over it. It's, it's going to kill me. It's going to kill me. But you know, like, obviously when I record the podcast, I stay in another room. Mm. But Owen's in the room with us, right? I can't sleep with him because he does wake up every hour at the minute. Mm. Nah! <laughs> nah! Like, but he's in, like, he is spoiled. Like, the kid is, he doesn't realize how lovely he's got it. His mom cherishes him. Mm. Literally, he's cuddled mm. throughout the whole night. He's, he's in a nice... And his pod, he's got a bed pod thing. Mm. He's he's got it wicked, man. Mm. But yet still moaning. Mm -mm. So I can't stay there because obviously, obviously I can't sleep and then I have to wake up and do the podcast. I've got, I'm like the Charlotte yesterday. After uh, Pete, is that you? Because I was moving about in the living room. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to bed now. It was like 3 a.m. Mm. I was doing the clip, man. Doing mm. the clip. Yeah, I'm a busy guy. Yeah, working hard. Yeah. Working hard, right? And she goes, oh. I said, I'm just going to step upstairs. She goes, fine, don't come and give me a kiss then. I said, I said all right. Oh. <laughs> what did you, I no, find all no, 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 yeah. No. It's like kissing, it's like kissing your teacher yeah, after yeah, you've been told off. Yeah, yeah. So um, I went and gave her a kiss, but I was like, I did give you a kiss before I said I was going to bed because she went to bed at 12. Mm. I gave her a kiss then. Yeah. Now she's like, okay, don't give me a kiss. So I'm like, but we kissed at 12. Yeah. Um, and then she's like, "Fine, you don't want to have sex with me." <laughs> what? She just came out of it like that. Came out with it. You just don't want to have sex with me. And and, and I was like, "All right, well then let's have sex. We need to get Owen out of the bed. Then we'll have sex." <laughs> he's, he's in his pod. <laughs> 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 she's, no. a, she, she's. A, she, I'm like, she's like, oh, oh, make it sound like a chore. Then right. fine, I'll have sex with you. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's not like. <laughs> Oh, fine. But it, oh, you're going you're gonna to shag the ogre, are you? <laughs> but it, but it's, it's awkward because yeah, we've had an argument now. <laughs> I can't have sex. You imagine if you stop working. <laughs> it's not you. No. It's there's tension in the room. It's <laughs> there's tension. You should, that, would you tell me your fault? Yeah, don't have a go at me. Yeah, no. have a, it feels like work but now. You know what? Like, And we haven't probably done it. As, I haven't done it as much as I should have. How many times do you think you've had sex since you... Since she said it was once since we've had Owen. Really? One time? Yeah, but he's in the bed. What, what do you want me to do? Shag yeah, and yeah, hold yeah, him yeah, up yeah, like yeah, that? Like, yeah, hey. yeah, 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 you're fucking... When he's napping in the day, what happens when he's napping uh, in the day? He naps for about death. Fucking, you fart and he'll wake up, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, when you've got the monitor, he's in another room. I don't like the stress of, oh, let's get up there and get it out and get it done. <laughs> let's get down. No, no, do you know what no, the problem then, is? Because then we need to have him on the camera then. <laughs> Because we need to know if he wakes up. Yeah. So we need to have him on the camera. No Is it two-way? Is it two-way? Only if I press a button. <laughs> so I can nah, nah. We're here, son! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, son! <laughs> give, give us a few. There, there, give us a few minutes. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so she sort of, I think maybe she feels a bit... Neglected. Neglected, but it's like, no, she's not working now. 
now I'm like, right, I need to get the podcast on. I need to get my stand up in order. I need, I'm working. No, I, it's not that. No, I am working. No, no, it's not that. It's not that. I know what it is. And I've always <laughs> said what it is. You <laughs> make too much. <laughs> You met you beat your meat. No, I'm listen, telling you. I'm let telling you. I'm, no, 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 I'm telling you. She's, if he, if she said that. <laughs> you've got you, you've got into a rhythm. You've got into a rhythm. You got you know what? You you it's like, it's like this. It's like this. You used to have a shower standing up. Now you got the seat. Now you got the seat. You're like I don't want to go back to standing yeah, up. Again. Know, oh, yeah. you have to go through the whole rigmarole. Yeah. You have to go through the whole rigmarole. No, you know oh. what? You're, you're, you're too used to being by yourself now. No, it's not. No, it's not that. And she's you, like, you weren't really having sex because she was pregnant either. There's a baby there. <laughs> but, I don't want to knock it in the head and give it brain damage. Uh, you're, you're, I don't think you've got the equipment. <laughs> <laughs> the labia's like, is it even it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> me, but um, yeah, you need to, you, you, you need to be, you need to be set out of a relationship. You start like, living with your brother, your sister off. You've not. You. No, no, it's not like. Yeah, is that is that the equivalent of what you lot get up to? Like. Uh, Night, and, and I can tell what do you want and, me to and do. You are, and you are turning into a pansy as well. What? Last night, last night, he was like, he was like, because I did phone you. You, you, you told me responding to something. He's like, yeah, stop responding. No, to you're anyone. flirting with the sheetsters. <laughs> yeah, and that's another thing. Stop slipping into his DMs, you little tarts. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're all like, you little tarts. <laughs> and don't just because uh, this is what one thing I will say. No one's going to replace Charlotte. She's the mother of my kid. No one will ever replace her. You're not going to swing your fat ass into my DMs, right? That's why you're all going over there to him. Yeah? I know about it. No, no, so no, don't no. try and fucking ignore no, me. No, 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 this, this, this is it. So he's like, no one will play Charlotte. I, he's trying to make sure Charlotte's... Like, I don't want it. I don't want it. But he had to fucking go at me. Fucking when, when, no, when, when you're water. flirting away. But anyway, so I mess... No, no, no. Not anyway. Let's bring up what you're saying. What we're saying. No, somebody no, about so, weed. Someone, a woman was. Oh, I don't have a go at people who have weed because because um, loads of things happen good with weed. You have great sex, and I said, oh yeah, I have heard sex is a lot better when you smoke weed. Yeah. And she was like, yeah, you should try it sometime. And I was like, oh, trying to get me hooked. Pete messages. <laughs> Stop fucking playing with the sheets. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh. and then I phoned him, yeah. and he's like, "Yeah, so flirting." Anyway, I've got to go. <laughs> night night. I was like, night night. Night night. <laughs> Me. Night night. Night night. Night night. Night night. Night night. Stole my joke. Now. <laughs> Yeah, my no, new no, one. No. Yeah. <laughs> but you need you need to start having sex, man. No, stop yeah. Out of the masturbation. But hold on a second. This is me telling you as a mate. It's not because I'm not like. A, she's like you're not attracted to me. I'm like it's not that. You're lazy. I, I said that. I said it. I'll, I'll be honest. I'm 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 shattered and I'm 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 like I can't be arsed at the minute. Yeah. You, but you it's lazy. It, it it but it's not laziness because the laziness is created by the hard workingness. So what would that be? No, you're you're neglecting other areas of your life. Yeah, because I'm focusing. No, no, no. I can, I can guarantee. Fuck me. No, no, I can guarantee. You, if you removed porn, if they turned off the porn, you would fuck Charlotte again. You'd you, you come you come knocking no, on no, the door. No, no, no. <laughs> can I speak to you a minute? Can I speak? Come up. Like, oh, in sleep. Come out. Come out. Find a minute. <laughs> and again, are you back? All right, go back into the no, room. No, no, no. I'm going to go back to No, she didn't say that. She goes, "All right, you run off to your little room and have a <laughs> don't you? I don't do that, do I?" So I'm just sitting down, I'm like, oh, no, no, this is no, like no, getting told like a, off. Like a teenage <laughs> boy. <laughs> you can't handle his life. Oh, I'm going out to my room. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's having a go at me. No, no. <laughs> no. Fuck me. No, Cry but, out, yeah, yeah, oh, that, yeah, but calm. Don't, fuck you. Oh. Having a go at me trying to call me out. No, no, no. But you no, need to yeah. cry out, man. You yeah, need to don't out. bring me out. Uh, don't fucking try calling me out, what, mate. What do you mean? No, no, you do. Fucking don't. Yeah, I'll dig up your fucking skeletons in your closet. Right, calm, calm down, calm down. Yeah, good. unwanted. <laughs> so if you bring me down, I'll fucking bring you down. We won't, we won't go down together. Yeah. We won't go down together. <laughs> they like they were so close. They were so close. Then they self-destructed. They wiped. They, they revealed each other's secrets. Uh, they <laughs> they puff daddy themselves before they even got to puff daddy's level. They, they did it themselves. <laughs> oh.
Oh, mean? Jesus Christ. Yeah, man, you've got, yeah, you got to cut out the, ma the masturbation. No, it's, man. it's not that. It's not no, that. No, I'm telling you. No, it's tiredness. I'm telling you. you don't, I'm not you, doing you, it, you, man. You, it's you, like, you, come you, on, man. You, no, you are. You are. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> I ain't doing it that often. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, 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 you get horny. And it's 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 because on. she's not your outlet for sexual gratification anymore. No, it's not. It's because I want her to dedicate more of her time to my son. No, you, no, that is not Pete. If you, if you was not, if, I want if her to be able to look after. If, master, if you, if your hands got somehow got taken away, yeah, you, you didn't have a hand, you'd fucking well be on Charlotte to fucking have sex with you. Come on, somebody, man, <laughs> no, you be no, on it. Uh, yeah, I can stop. What are you, do you doing? Want to, do you want to be honest with you? That's yeah, what I know you're, it is. You're throwing me under the bus. No, no, I'm not being honest. Cut, do, do, um, Charlotte, do, like Pete would say, turn off the. <laughs> Turn it down, 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 ban, ban it because he's too cheap to use his data. Ban the board. Uh, no. Charlotte, turn it off. Go to the no. provider and turn it off. No, no, you no, you do that and then we no, no, no. What are you gonna do? Oh, no. we're over. I like to watch my streaming services as well, <laughs> the, and they'll block the fight, them. The fights. <laughs> yeah. So I, I like to watch the fights for free. No, 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 no. Turn it off. Turn it off. Shut up. No, you. no. Turn no, it off. She, she needs to turn it off. Stop. Turn it off. What are you and, doing? And, and, and you'll get a visit in the middle that? of that. I swear, I'll never come back here again. No, if you're gonna ruin my life, <laughs> I, I don't have anything. Oh, good. Do, you, do, you, do you hear how addicted he is? No. If you ruin my life, I can't masturbate anymore. <laughs> in peace. <laughs> fight you all around. Fight you. It'll come into the, it'll come into the episode. Yeah. Fucking rock hard. <laughs> <laughs> how, you, how you doing, guys? Uh, Fuck me. I didn't want to talk about this, and you made me talk about it. Oh, no, you got, you no got but I still like. But it's not like it's. That's a laziness thing. It's just fucking yeah, no. It's because you've got an outlet. And that's the problem. It's not the no, no, one hundred percent. It's because you've got that. If you if you remove that outlet, if you removed pornography, you'd be a different man. You'd be wanting to have sex. How well, how was your sex life like before? How often were you having sex? Like three, three times, four times. Me, the poor girl. The what? poor girl's gone from three or four times I a week down to nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what do you want me to do? He's in the bed. So why don't you shag on the sofa? The fucking she's got a flat with the curt everyone can see. You got curves. when you got. Yeah, no, we've got little thin things that everyone can see through. I've no, seen no, no, outside no. in no, when no, the no, lights no. are on. You can see everything. No. <laughs> no, just, Me bun and then we end up on the internet bouncing but, but, around. But, 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 like but you've you got a room upstairs. <laughs> That's my fucking room. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, out no, for one person. I don't like being upstairs when my son is downstairs alone because oh. anyone could come in the house. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> just just bitch, we've got a Patreon. <laughs> yeah. And I prank, I done a prank on Pete. Now yeah, we, exactly. Now... <laughs> prank. This is bitch, you guys. I done a prank on Pete. It's on our Patreon, and our Pete is scared. To... <laughs> no, I'm terrified. Like I'm terrified. And then, so if we're up there and he's down there, the first person they come across is him. Mm. I'm not having that. You know. Come, I'm, I'll, I'll always protect my son. One second. The first person to come into contact. I'd rather me and Charlotte are always with him and can keep an eye on him. One second. So, you, so you'd so you rather the first person to come into contact is with Charlotte and Owen now? Because you're upstairs. T t no, I, that is one thing that I'm not comfortable about. Aren't you? No. But she would scream and I'd come down and... <laughs> and say, come on, run! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Pocket please to no, no, no. no, don't you I don't like, come on, you throw me under the bus. What do you mean? Do you do you use that anymore? No, no, no. What? I, I wouldn't use that. There's not enough time to dismount <laughs> if she comes up. Mount dismount. <laughs> <laughs> wireless headphones. Wireless headphones. Wireless headphones. Me. Noise, uh, uh, noise redu reduction headphones. <laughs> I, can, I can imagine. I can imagine mm -hmm. you, because your room's upstairs. Yeah. You come into the room where the pocket was in. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry to wake you up. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> like, What's that? I just need to get my charge. Oh, I need nah, to get my charge nah. up. Let's get my charge up. Nah, you love throwing me under the bus. Oh, that is hilarious, man. Um. All right, I wanted to talk about this. Someone, someone asked us about to talk about this. Um, we haven't talked about our Patreon. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We just have to, to remind this lot. Ju yeah, just to let you know, we are about our Patreon, where you get exclusive Luke and Pete content. <coughs> Head we over to our Patreon, patreoncom forward slash Luke and Pete. Yeah, we got it's exclusive episodes. You get a, a, a exclusive episode every Thursday. You get the main episode early. You get no censorship. You get all the swear words. Everything. All the swear words, but you do get more episodes. Yeah. 
you get double the amount of episodes. Plus, you get Luke versus Pete, where we go out into the real world and we do activities and we challenge each you other. You see me and Luke in our natural environment, natural habitats. Yep. And and I've got a, a whole section on there um, where I pranked Pete over different occasions, about five, six different occasions. Now, listen, guys, I also want to explain to you, when you first go onto Patreon, go to collections. That's where everything is categorized and you can go through all of the things. I've, I've categorized it all for you. So it's easily found and you can find all the stuff on there. Yeah, yeah, and, and we just we just support your boys, and we want to thank each and every one who has supported us now, before, and future patrons. We yeah. want to thank you lot. Thank you, because it does help. You, without you guys, the podcast wouldn't be possible. Without you lot, we wouldn't have a podcast. So everyone that's doing and tip dipping in for for free, you have them to thank. Yeah, because so just, without just, them, we couldn't do it. So just sign it's, it's three pounds, only three pounds a month. You yeah. have another tier, which is five pounds a month, which is cheaper than the bottle of ketchup, mm. a block of cheese, and a McVitie's um, pack of biscuits, mm. right? With chocolate on it. Yeah, I, I bought a biscuit the other day, digestive pizza. I've got chocolate on it. But no, he's like, no. yeah, don't. No, thank you. <laughs> no, no, thank you. Yeah, we've got a five pound tier where you get your name at the end and you get a hair certificate uh, with a hair follicle with named hair fo on my head named after, after you. you. Yes, yeah, for the hair transplant fund, and you become and an official producer of the show. Yep. Yeah. Which means we listen to your ideas, we take them on board, and we talk about them on the episodes. And we've got a twenty, a twenty pound a tier for which those. is just the utmost respect. Yeah, we, 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 we Jesus Christ, <laughs> that's what I can say. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. But thank you, thank you guys so much. But um, but thank one, you to all of the patrons. Yeah, we do. We appreciate you all. One of the, one of the um, what I wanted to say to you, one of our sheetsters messaged us and she wanted us to talk about being a stepdad. How would we feel about being a stepdad? So Pete. Could you date a woman who has children? Now. Yeah. Yeah. I could now. Why? Why not before? Because I've got a son, so there's something to... Oh, you've got a son, I've got a son. Oh, wow, we've got sons. Like, mm. you can bond over it. Mm. Oh, we've got a connection. It's like when someone likes a Twix, and you like a Twix as well, and you're like, oh, I like Twix. You like Twix? Oh, my God, we're meant to be. So so if you if you were single... I mean, if you had no kids, you couldn't date a woman who had children. No, we t Charlotte asked me this question the other day. She goes, yeah. could you date with someone with kids? And I was like, yeah, easy. And she was like, oh, well, no, no. But before you had a kid, because I said that, and she was like, before you had a kid? Mm. I was like, oh, that's different. Is it? Do I have to live with them? Yeah, why not? You're dating her. You're, dating, you're taking her seriously. You live with her. What, the one? problem would be, like, is it a 13-year-old or something? Why? What's wrong with that? What's the difference? So, older kid or younger kid? What would you... What would you? Well, then I'd have to bond with it and go fishing. you go fishing? Well, I'd be like, you can call me dad if you want to. Would you? But if he's close to my age, like, if he's, like, a teenager, I'd be like, look, we both know I'm shagging your mom. You, Pete, you can't. You I can't have to it. talk you to him like an adult, you otherwise you won't it. respect me. You can't say something like that to a kid. Okay, you know me and your mom are having Why did you say that? What? Why can't you say me and your mom in a relationship? Well, because then he's like, "What you do? why do you always stay around here? And I'd have to be like, look, because obviously. Uh, because I love your mom. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't sound like love what you had. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. <yeah. laughs> you've, had, you've had sex with her once, did you? <laughs> No, I don't sound like you love yourself. No, I I I have to say to him, hey, come on. I know I'm not your real dad, but if you want me to be your dad, I can be your dad. Really? But but let's keep it casual at the minute. What do you mean casual? Like, don't call me dad in public, but we'll do it in private for a start, just to get used to it. Just you hold on one second, one second. So he'd be like, that in private, dad. Can you pass um the control, please? You'd be like, yeah, here you go. Then you're out, uh, Dad. Is this the way? We're in public. We're yeah, in public. No, but it would be weird if he was like black and I'm Asian, and they'd be like, "It's not your son. This man's got this kid. Pretend, you know." But it would be his his decision. I'd give him all the cards would and you? say, "What do you want to do about I, this? I don't think, I think, what do you want to do about this?" I think I wouldn't. I wouldn't be that involved. I could date a woman who has kids. Yeah. yeah. Um, the relationship between her and the kid's dad. I'd be very paying attention to. The kid's dad? Yeah. I wouldn't have a problem with the kid's dad. Yeah, but what What if he... I'd want the kid's dad to come round. Come round. You're welcome. Really? 
Yeah, because... So what, what, if, what, if you, what would you be comfortable if you're because, at work? Because well, you, I you want... Would you be comfortable if you're at work and you come home and he's already at the house, like, just chilling? Yeah, how you doing, Pete? You right? She would... She's left him for a reason. Yeah, I'd be absolutely fine with it. What if he left her? That's different. <laughs> And why do you think people leave people all the time? Don't mean they ain't going to go back. We, uh, there is no way the man could be in, my, in, in the home where I'm living and be uh, in the house while... while. No way. What's he going to do? F*** her! No, he, he wouldn't do that. She wouldn't do that to me. <laughs> what, what she would why do? would you go back to what you've been with? That happens all the time. Well, then, nah, I wouldn't. I don't... No, I wouldn't. Because you, you can't stop the kid's dad coming around the house. No, you can. The kid. You think the kid can go to his house? No, I'd be like, look, it's cool, whatever. I, I'd be a bit like, it'd be awkward. He'd be sitting there and I'd be like, do you want a cup of tea? Do you want one? Yeah, can I get a bottle of water? I've, I've worked up a sweat. Listen. I'm a bit dehydrated. I'll make a cup. Do you want a cup of tea or not? No, no. Can I get a bottle of water? Like before you came home. We don't I, I have was, bottled water. We've got tap water. Yeah, yeah, tap water. I was, I was, I was, yeah, here's tap water. Thank you. I was out of breath for earlier. I was just, what? I was just, Why? <laughs> you were shagging the missus? <laughs> yeah, I knew no, you. A bit, a bit of cardio, a bit of cardio. No, but if she was sweating as well. Yeah, what would you do? Why is she sweating then? She said she, we we done a bit, a bit of cardio together. <laughs> right, I wouldn't say anything, but I would leave. What? I'll be like, in the middle of the night. Workouts, in the middle of the night. In the middle of the night. Yeah, you I'd mean? leave because you're working out together. Th that's what you think. You really believe they're working out together? Well, that's what you said. Yes. <laughs> they're both sweating as you've come in, looking flustered. Oh, oh, Pete, you're home early. Oh, were they having sex together? <laughs> hey, <laughs> what the? Pete, I'm telling you, I wouldn't allow. That, that 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 couldn't those things couldn't happen. I don't want to break up the relationship with the dad and the son. No, the, no. Dad, the dad and the son has to have a relation, their, their own relationship. But the mum. Nah, I don't get involved yeah, in that. Nah, I want to. That's what I'm saying. I'm not, not. I'm not dating her no more. I don't. If the woman wants to be with me, she wants to be with me. If she doesn't, I'll just be like, listen, I don't want to be with you. If you want to be with that guy, so tell me no, now. No, 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 no. I'm I happy like, to leave. I like, I like. He's a player. He's a player. Yeah, so am I. No, no, you're not, Pete. What she? He doesn't know that. That he? Why do you care what he knows? I have to match him. I have to match him toe to toe. I have to come up against him. No, no, no. But she, she's like, to you, I, I like you. You're, you're, you go out to work. You bring home the bacon. You, you're home right. every night. Now you're using me for my money. <laughs> and if it's to bring up your kid, he should be doing that. No, they say stepdads are men women would never date if they never had children. Yes, I think a lot of the thing that attracts a woman to a man is the fact that he's got kids as well. What are you talking about right now, Pete? I think when a woman gets with a man, because he's a stepdad, yeah? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You know what? When you get confused sometimes, it makes me, because you're like, something's not right here. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what I is said, a stepdad? I said, a stepdad, Yeah. they say stepdads are men women would never date if they never had children. Like, so a woman, if the woman never had children. So the stepdad, so, okay. A woman has dated you. But yeah? is he a dad? No, he's a stepdad. She's oh, already of, had of a another, kid. Of another of, of, kid. Of, 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 of her kid. Who's, whose kids? Her kid. She's but then how kids. can she date him if he, how can, how can he be a stepdad if she's never fucking dated but, him but before? This is, but this is the, until he gets the, with her. This is the point. She would never date a man like him, but only because, because they say, because she's got a kid now. Yeah. She's that, because she's like, because they, they, they technically say like, it's kind of, what do they, what's the word for it where a woman like is a bit devalued now because she's got a kid. Yeah. That's what they say. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So now she would date the guy, this guy, because she's got a kid. Yeah. But she would never have dated him if she never had a kid. But he would, he's a stepdad. Yeah. So her kid. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then he wouldn't have been a stepdad if if she didn't date him. Then yes, but that's the point. Stepdads, they're saying, are the guys who are second best, basically. Right. The, the, if she never had a kid, and she she would never oh, have dated. Oh, him. she's settling. For she's it. settling for this guy. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, my sister's done that. <laughs> sister's done that. She has, to, with no denying, she settled for someone who's terrible. Really? Yeah, and literally nobody in the family likes him at all. 
mm. at all. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But this is, so do you think, so... I think she's settled so, so, for so, some so, scumbag, so, yeah. So this is the question. Would you, would you put yourself in that situation? Me personally, no, because I value myself. But when you have no self-worth, no self-value, you do settle for someone who's like scummy. You do go for the scum, scum of the earth. You, you, uh... Except, uh, uh, but for those who Pete is grinding an axe right now, Pete is no, but you do accept something way below and like. But the the thing is that people around you are just like, uh, watching from the outside, like, uh, what is going on? But she's like, she doesn't have a clue that everyone is watching. Going, everyone literally thinks, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, but I'm talking about this. Come back yeah. into into the thing, yeah. All right. Would you put yourself in that scenario where you're a stepdad now, thinking that maybe this woman's only dating me because she's got a kid? I don't want to be known as the evil stepdad. So I'd have to treat the kid like a mate as well. Because I know there is evil stepdads out there. They say that stepdad, a stepparent is the most dangerous thing to a child. Yeah, there is evil stepparents out there. And I'll call you all out now. You know who you are. You're weak little men. Weak little stepdads. I know who they are and I know they exist. On a daily basis, you worm your way into a woman's life and you're not nice. Now we're on to you. We're all on to you. We know you exist. and we. But they're so narcissistic that they don't understand that everyone around them knows they're an evil stepdad. Mm. Right? Like, because you did get evil stepmothers back in the day. That was a phrase, wasn't it? Oh, you don't want to be the evil stepmother. Mm. But the dangerous, most dangerous thing to a child is an evil stepdad. Yeah, that's what you, you see. A lot of these people that kill kids, is, and you work out, it's the people that are dating the mum. They have a, like a hatred towards the kid because it represents another man, I think, or something like that. It's I weird. don't understand how women can put their kid into this environment. Yeah, but this is what I mean. Like you hear, you hear, like and they leave. This is like I mean. have some self value. Mm. Have some self worth about yourself. You live one life. You live literally three hundred and sixty five times. Maximum 99? Mm. And you're wasting it on vermin. Mm. Ratatouille. But, but no, 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 no. Okay, this is what happens, yeah? People get lonely. People get, get lonely. lonely. I don't care. I don't give and a no, 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 fuck no, no, about no, your loneliness. No, no, no. This is what I'm saying. Do not no, sacrifice no, no. a child's safety and for being around with a... And that's why I respect some women who are like, I'm not getting involved with these with, with men. Why am I, especially a child at a vulnerable age when they can't speak? You know what I mean? Like yeah. some of these guys do things like babies. Do you know what I mean? They can't talk up for themselves. But you have some women who's like, no, I'm not, like, and it is f***ed up because some guys, some guys, go and sleep with a woman, have a kid, and then they and then they abandon, and the woman's just left on her own with a kid. Yeah. Yeah. F***ing, let's just give it to the guys. They're f***ing, do you know what I mean? Look after your kids. Yeah, have some respect. Yeah. Look, look after your kids, man. It's not just on the woman, but I do understand. You do. A woman needs some time to go out into the world and, you know what I mean? Live again, live again. But if, she, if the kids, if the guy's completely abandoning his kids, she gets no time to herself. So then maybe she falls for these scumbag guys. For lon lonely, take away the loneliness? Yeah, take away loneliness, yeah. Yeah, but then sometimes you end up with a scumbag and you feel lonely anyway. Mm. You do feel isolated, you do feel lonely. Mm. So is it worth it? Absolutely not. There's only one life. Don't waste it. Yeah. Do not waste the one life you've been blessed with by being with a scummy. And 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 this and to be honest with you, and being when, lonely. The the mark of a good parent is being able to sacrifice your own happiness in order for your children to have the life that you you want for them. My mate said something to me this week. Because one of our other mates is now in a new relationship. Not with kids or anything, but he's in a new relationship. He said, love is when your girlfriend goes on holiday and then you make time for your mates. Because his what? girlfriend. What? Love is love when your is girlfriend when your goes girlfriend on holiday go, goes and you on, make time for your mates. When Love is when your girlfriend goes on holiday and then you make time for your mates. Because our mate has just got with this girl, right? Mm. Like last year or whatever. Mm. He's about our age, what, 38? She's 23 or something. Mm. Slight pedo-y difference, right? Um, now she's gone on holiday without him, mm. right? 
So now he's like, right, guys, come on. When are we meeting up? When are we meeting up? And it's like, oh, now you want to meet up. Now but why is that love? Who's he love? He obviously loves her. Because we don't see him otherwise. Okay. So now she's going on holiday. He's like, right, let's meet up. That's not love. That's not love. What is it? I said before, love, love is putting someone before yourself. That's what I think love is. When, you, when you're when you willing to put someone before you, you can say you're in love. When you're not willing to put someone before you. Yeah, so he doesn't love us then. Because he doesn't put us before her. No, is he putting? No, he lo he loves her. But he, he loves anyone. He'll love anyone that uh, likes him. <laughs> he will. He <laughs> loves anyone that likes him. Really? Yeah, because the last one he loved, and he moved to Spain for, and then like, she was right. I remember I saw her once. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was. Yeah, I, but, was like, I was like, yeah, but we, he's we, punching. He's yeah, punching it. Yeah, but we think we think she was cheated on him, like because she split up randomly when he went to London, and he was like, that was a bit weird. Uh, yeah, he got over it, but it was like. Yeah, but mate, you moved to Spain for her. He moved. He moved over to Spain. For he her. moved to Spain. Yeah, for but women don't. I'm saying they don't respect men like that. Yeah, they, they don't. don't respect you. Because like, because also, no, you... also, he said it was awkward. Because like, he'd go over to Spain and like everyone would be speaking Spanish. And he'd be like, uh, you don't, you didn't speak Spanish. He didn't speak the language. Oh, no, no. See, that's actually. So you're, 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 <laughs> yeah, and, and, what did they say? When you say? laugh along. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, when yeah. you laugh along. Like, but you don't know what they're saying. Yeah, you can't. You can't. You can't. You don't and know sometimes the, the dad couldn't speak English. So when the dad was there, they'd never speak English. Mm. So he'd have. Yeah, and when he'd, the dad was there, they'd never speak English. Well, they'd so, never speak. So he's left there like, yeah, like a, yeah, see, like a I mean, puppet. He's diminished himself. Yeah. He's just what I'm saying. You, you, you put yourself down the pecking order. No matter who you are, if you can't speak the language, you come across like you're a baby. Yeah, yeah of course. Oh, but you know what? I, you, I, unintelligent. I was talking about this the other day. I find it so awkward. When someone with an accent says something to me, and I have to ask them again, like they say, oh, "What are we doing, Naomi?" I was like, "Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing, Naomi?" <laughs> and they say it the same yeah, way. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, you don't change up yeah, the intonation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you're exaggerating some words or not? You say it differently. Yeah. Say it differently. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm. But, and, and and sometimes they look at you like you're the like I'm not with a problem. You're the one who's not speaking <laughs> English properly. You <laughs> say it properly. <laughs> Like, like, you speak like, and, I, and that makes it feel like the <laughs> and I find him new, Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, like people make it feel, yeah. and, I, I'm like, but, and I'm like, but, but they're all, they're asking you a question. <laughs> like, what, 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 what color is the car? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? What yeah. color? Is the, I, don't, I, I say back so you realize what they say. <laughs> what color is the car? Oh, purple. Purple. <laughs> it's purple. Sorry, it's purple. What color purple. is the car? You're like. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what happened with me the other day? It happened, <laughs> happened to me the other day, and and it there's a tension, there's a visible tension because I'm like, oh, I'm making like I'm not, I don't get, it, but it feels rude. It feels like I'm being rude. What was the guy? Oh, I went into no, no, because it becomes across because you do get frustrated. No, you, no, so you're like, what are you saying? Yeah, yeah, no, no. I went, I went into um, Tesco's, and mm. my daughter asked for some chewing gum. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then the security guard, I was like, no, that's not bubble gum, it's chewing gum. She's like, oh, I've had this before. Security guard's like, yeah, yeah, ma'am. And I was like, I was like, yeah. He's like, huh? I, I, no, 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 sorry. He goes, he goes, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. And he's still looking at me. So I realized, oh, I haven't understood properly. So I go, sorry, what'd you say? <laughs> and he goes, no, no, no. So that, yeah, what? Sorry? Yeah. He's yeah. like, this is bubble chewing gum, chewing gum. Yeah, yeah, chewing gum. <laughs> And I'm like, I, 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 I don't know what the f you're talking about. Yeah. But it feels rude. I yeah. don't mean. I, I don't no, mean. It feels like you're, like, not antagonizing them, but yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like dismissive. Yeah, yeah it does feel dismissive. It's like, it's like, yeah, but yeah. If, if, but if you can't understand what he's saying and he can't say his words properly, the conversation is over. <laughs> But, then, there's, but then, there's no the, point. But what makes there's me no angry? Point what, make, what makes me angry <laughs> is that they take no responsibility for their work. Like you know, you can't speak properly. But you, you, there's <laughs> no, no look at their face. Like they don't, they don't, they don't slow down. No. They don't slow down. Like they're it's chewing gum over there. But no. they, they say it's normally. But I have people <laughs> saying that to me. What? Like when I ask, oh, especially when I ask for water. Can I get some water? <laughs> and then it's an English person, obviously. So they talk like this. And they're like, can you get some water? Uh, that what, American. Water? Water? That's can you like... get some water? Can, oh, can I get some water? Can no. I get some water? I don't know what accent that is. No, but they repeat back. No, you sound American. I'm... No. 
But this is what they're repeating back to me. See, are you getting frustrated? Yeah, because you can't I'm, understand I'm, 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 <laughs> Don't get mad at me. Say your words properly. <laughs> no, but I'm Say the accent you're meant to say I'm it. telling you what Where this is. Where is it? This is England. Can I'm like, can I'm like, can I get some water, please? They're like, can you get some water? Water? Like water? And I'm like, can I get some water? I have Ooh. to set in there. Ooh, wow. I have to respond in there. Dialect, whatever it Which is. Which shows that I am educated. Because I've then come down to your level. Because you can't understand people. No, but you're... But you're no, but if you'd open but up... You're that, speaking you English. clean the no, no, out of no, no, your no, ears. No, but this, okay, now you're getting aggressive. No, but that's what you have to do. Because you're not... You're open... <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried in the face. <laughs> I talk to me like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. No. Um, yeah, it... it, it, it it annoys me, man. It annoys me when people people do that to me. Um, all right, we got we got we got some dilemmas, yeah. Oh, some question. No, this is a question someone sent in to us, yeah. Mm. Which I found interesting. Hi, Luke and Pete. I come across a TikTok the other day where two people were debating whether they prefer a daughter that sleeps around a lot or a feminine son, and I thought it'd be interesting to get your spin. A on feminine it. son. What do you Love mean? Love the podcast, by the way, Michelle. Feminine, like a feminine. If we use a son that was feminine. Uh, uh, or a daughter that sleeps around a lot. A feminine son, like how feminine are we talking? Like exaggerated. What, like, hey son? <laughs> Why are you getting me to do this? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's fine now. Hey son. <laughs> Why hey, am I hey son. I'm the one who's curious yeah, to yeah, how yeah, feminine. Tell him I am. Tell all right, me. all right, so you're gonna, okay, go on. Hey, hey, <clears throat> son, have you done your homework? Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Do you know, now what are we talking? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I couldn't deal with that. I couldn't deal with that. What you can deal with that? No, 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 no. Okay, do you know what it'd be? If you're around a fella, like imagine like pay per view boxing, all the all the guys yeah. Are around, yeah, yeah, and your son comes in, and he's like, oh, well, oh, <laughs> oh, watching the boxing, a bit of fisticuffs, are we? I'd be like, get the f out. <laughs> Get to get, go to your mother. I told you don't go, come downstairs with my friends here. <laughs> go to your mother. No, I don't, go to your mother. No, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind it. But but if it was if it if like my son was like that and you were around, oh god. Why? Why well, me? I just think you'd be. What if Owen was like, "Ooh, Uncle Luke, how are you?" <laughs> Do you know what it is? I did it to the truth, yeah. What is feminine? Okay, it's all acting like a woman. Oh, so like dressing like one? No, not necessarily. But you know what? This is what it is, yeah? Yeah. Because when I meet like feminine guys, they're the most friendly. They're so warm. They're friendly. Yeah, I know, but sometimes they like they talk like a woman. Mm. And I do think, God, you sound like a woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's kind of like. But they're nice. Well, yeah. Kind of like what? Well, it's kind of like you hear it and you're like, you sound like a woman. Like if I looked away. <laughs> No, no, but you know, you know, it sounds nice. It's endearing, no, no, like a woman. No, they, 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 I, like when it, I see it with gay guys when they come meet you, they kiss, kiss on the cheek, like, like, like men, like, like it's masculine tender. Men. Masculine men don't do that. Masculine men don't kiss on cheek. No, no, but it's masculine great, men. It's nice. Masculine men, no kissy on cheek. Yeah. Feminine men, kissy on, on cheek. cheek. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, women, kissy on cheek. Yeah. Men, no, 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 kissy no. on cheek. No. But men, muscular men. Masculine, masculine. Masculine, masculine. men. <laughs> you got muscular men. <laughs> muscular men. Kissy on cheek. Oh, that was different. Yeah. You don't, you like, don't... Imagine me and you greeted each other by kissing each other on the cheek. If, if I don't tried, tell me, if I, people if I, would be like... If I tried to do that to you, you'd be like, what the f*** are you doing? Yeah, well, I'd be like, why, why no, do you, you, what, do you do know, No, do you know what's funny about you? Mm -hmm. You are the kind of person that you could do well, that to. I, well, I'd be like, if you started you, doing you, it, I'd be you, like... Okay, we're doing this now. <laughs> okay, look, okay, we're, we're that level okay, of friends. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, but but you know what it is? with my son, it's like. But bloody hell, we gotta check out the shoe on the other foot now. Your daughter comes in. You lot are watching the boxing. She's sitting there. <laughs> no, 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 no. Where's your underwear? <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> do you know what I mean? I couldn't deal. Uh, uh, I couldn't deal with that. No, no you couldn't. You couldn't. I, I, I couldn't deal with that more, probably. But do you know? Okay. Because they'd all want to like. Ugh. They'd all because she's been throwing it about the place. You, you, the, the, okay. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. yeah. I've seen some women who are very, who are sexually liberated. Like I would want my daughter to have a healthy relate. I don't want her to feel ashamed about. Wanting to have sex, I want her to be. I want her to understand her, her value, that she's valuable, and that um, I don't want her. But because you got some women who who have sex, who have who sleep around a lot, because that's all they feel they have. And there's some women who are like, no, I have I have sex with this guy because I want to have sex with him. Yeah, yeah. And then I and then if I don't want to talk to him afterwards, I don't want to talk to him. Like that's their choice. Do you know what I mean? They're mm. six. Like they take control of the situation. They have sex if they want. They're not going to let rules of society dictate who they oh i can't i want to have sex but because people think badly of me i won't have sex i don't like those people because you, you're, you're you're just a follower you're just you're just letting the rules of society dictate but if you yeah. say i want to have sex and then if i don't want to talk to you afterwards i won't it's that's a very that's a sexy woman man that's a woman who's no i think a sexy woman is those women you meet that have a personality and they're funny they are funny and they don't care they're like i'm gonna have a laugh hmm. no Women out there listening, don't confuse that with being bubbly. You have to be funny, is what I'm talking about. Be funny and enjoy your life. Don't be like needing the man. But when women come across like angry at men, I think it comes across that you really want a man. Mm. The problem is nobody wants you, I think. And that's why you're no, angry no, at no, them, no, maybe. No, I don't think that's so true, because you've got some of them lesbians. <clears throat> some lesbian lesbians seem aggressive, like aggressively like they hate men. Like, like you meet him, like it, it almost feels like I've met some women, and it kind of feels like when you're in a room with a racist person, they like they they you can feel the the venom. Yeah, but, uh, you've all, we've also got that with straight women out there. That that do that. They mm. they hate men. They put they say they hate men. Mm. There's straight women out there that game hate men. You can tell they hate men. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. and but they unlike. There's a few of them around. You know, they act like they hate men and they try and be bubbly and act like they're not. They don't hate men. Mm. But we know you hate men. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand. Some may, and I think I think what a lot of people do is the same, the same kind of thing with racism. I think some people may have had a bad experience before or they've heard. Like and then been, they tarnish everyone with the same brush. They're brought up in an environment where they're around certain kinds of men. But yeah. And then they try and take it out on all men. To be fair, I'm guilty of wrong. that. I'm guilty of that though. Well. Tarnishing a lot of people with the same brush. Northern. Northerners. Yeah. yeah. Like I do think Northerners get married young. Mm. Because everyone I've met got married at like 15. Mm. So I do. Tar and then everyone's like, no, no, we, we do stuff. We do stuff, Pete. And it's like, no, no, don't panic. I'm just, it's just my experience of it. Mm. But I'm not saying that you may, maybe you'd be Northern. And you didn't do that. Mm. You can try and break the trend. But from my experience, Northern people... But that's what I mean. Sometimes you get stuck in this rigid view of the world and it's not so. And I think that's what happens to you, yeah. You're not very open-minded with some things. Yeah, with some things. But no, I, but I am willing to be com uh, com converted. Are you? Yeah, that's why... I'm, no, not, not in that sense. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm willing to be converted by people messaging in going like... Because I, I do think... There's a lot of uh, our sheets there's who messaged in and I was like, yeah, I'd actually like to go out with you. On a night out. No, really. You seem like a laugh. Yeah. So, what would, so, what, so back to the question, what would you prefer? A feminine son. Would you? Yeah, 100%. I'd, I, I wouldn't I'd, want my daughter. I'd, but, I'd, prefer, I'd, prefer, I'd, prefer, I'd prefer my daughter. You prefer your daughter herself out? If she slept around, but she was in control of her, like she'd done what she wanted. I think. No, what, did you, what is the question? Because sleeping around is different. Why? Sleeping around. Is she like throwing it about the place every second of the day? No, that's not. Who I is doing would... that? Who is doing well, no, no. that? Sleep, the... Sleeping around. What, am I talking I'm getting a new person in the house every five minutes? Because I'm my... not cool with that. If my. If, no, yeah, no, no, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be happy with that. I'd be like, it's a new. It's like a fucking bed and breakfast yeah. here. <laughs> now, what is this? Charge, at, least a bed. at least charge him. At least charge him. Fucking Airbnb. You know, yeah, yeah, but uh, like, can, can you imagine that altercation I had? We talked about some altercation I had outside my house on the Patreon episode. Can you imagine if I came out and fucking, and fucking there's eight guys outside my house and I'm like, son, help me! <laughs> oh! 
<laughs> yeah, but like, like, like I, I want my sons. Like, I, I want yeah, my sons. yeah, but you're not, you're not building an army. I am. No, you're do you know not. What, do you know what someone? Do you know what someone? I remember someone asked me years ago. He goes, why? Why do you have? Why do you want your? I can't remember the question. What was the question? Something about my family. Like, why do I have a family or something like that? And I was like, to strengthen me against other families. Like, <laughs> that's, that's, it's a war of families. Yeah, that's, that's how I but feel. that's why when you see the son like marrying a woman who's rich, like. Charlotte's brother married into a rich family. Mm. And like, no matter what anyone says, I do think that plays a part in his choice of who he settled with. Really? Because if she was poor, I don't think he would have. Really? I, well, I, this is my just my honest opinion. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. okay, like that is one of the factors that would be like, yes, I want to marry this woman. See, I don't, I I wouldn't want my sons married. Like I would, I don't want my son's Pierce they choose to have certain values. Yeah. Money. I'd only want them to come from a place of money, their partners from money, because of like maybe the educational yeah, side yeah. of it and things like that. But can I just say he's rich as well? Like he's got a lot of money. Mm. But it's it obviously comes into play when choosing a partner. Really? Well, I think so, yeah, because I always think that like if he was with someone that was like poor. He wouldn't be with them, I don't think. All right, let me say this to you, because this is a thought I had the other day. Yeah. There's a rapper um, called Cardi B, yeah? Yeah. She's got a partner called, she married a husband called Offset. He's a rapper, yeah? Yeah. Now, they recently split up. Yeah. yeah. And they've he, had, they've, yeah. They've, they've three kids. She's got three kids um, by him, yeah? Yeah. Now, he's already gone out and found a new woman, beautiful, some Spanish model. Oh, yeah. but he's a rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. I'm yeah. just saying. It's a lot, it's a lot easier for the man to get a high level woman than it is for a woman to get a high level man because of the criteria that we look for. So like we look for beautiful, like, like I said, I could find a beautiful woman who works at McDonald's. Automatically I'd elevate it. Do you know what I mean? I'd, I'd, I'd still date that woman. I'd working at McDonald's. I don't think I, not that I've got a problem with McDonald's. <laughs> In fact, out of all the fast food restaurant, restaurants, that is my favorite. <laughs> no, but, no, no, <laughs> Burger King is. Okay, but that is Burger King class as fast food now with the prices? It's yeah. class more like the bloody Ritz Hotel, <laughs> man. Yeah, that's why you want someone behind the counter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but they don't pay the staff well, do they? I don't know, I don't know. But what? So do, does money, money comes into effect? Like, N I would be a bit like, like if someone was like, oh, like I've met this girl, she's really nice, yeah. right? Like, and they're like, oh, what does she do? I'd be like, oh, she works for like uh, one of the biggest companies in the world. <laughs> you, you'd be embarrassed to say. You'd be embarrassed. You, you, what, wait, what? C cuisine? She works in cuisine? Well, she cuisine? works for one of the biggest restaurants yeah, yeah, in the world. Yeah, yeah. Well, Michelin? Uh, let's not get it. It's got him in it. It's got him. It's got him. It's all the M's. <laughs> but, but I would, you know, it would take, I'd, I'd make it the hardest thing to get the words Burger King out of my mouth. Oh, re really, really? And if, you know, because I would, when the words, She's manager at Burger King. I'd ha We've really upgraded her. She's a manager. I mean, no, <laughs> not just a cashier, not just staff. A cashier? <laughs> oh, I'd, I'd say she's not working at the minute. <laughs> rather I'd rather say that than, than that. Would you? But just to be that like... That doesn't embarrass me at all. It doesn't embarrass no, me, but does. I don't want the questions. No, yeah, the yeah, questions. No, no, funny, funny. How old is she, Pete? <laughs> <laughs> the questions are following. <laughs> I'd feel like there'd need to be some justification. Really, really, really. Like, yeah, like she's, she's she awesome. works at Burger King, but she's what? training to be a uh, se senior CEO of one of the big corporations. But really? she goes to university. You should put this off through night school. You yeah, I'd, I'd, night have school. To, I'd have to. Really? Get, I wouldn't just. She works at Burger King. It wouldn't bother me at all. But what if, like, would it not? I don't it think, wouldn't bother I, me, I, but my I'd my be woman, like, uh, my woman's because I feel like I want to look after my but woman. But would you tell anyway. everyone she works? I'm hundred percent. No, 100%. <laughs> why are you always got Burger King, Luke? Well, <laughs> no, that's no, a story. That's a long story. No, but come on, if it's me and you out in public, and then I'm like, oh, Charlotte does this, she's doing this, and and then no, you're no, like, no, and, no, and then you're like, mm, okay, right, right, yeah, King. yeah, 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 okay, because because you know, because you get the lack of respect. The respect wouldn't be there. It would diminish. When you go like, yeah, my 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 part, Charlotte's a, a, um, a lawyer. Yeah. I'm on the top law firm. <laughs> um, uh, you got a partner, Luke? Yeah, what she do? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even think of that. You didn't even, 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 you did
What do you want your partner to do? What do you want your partner to do for, for a living? Um, uh, she, well, it's an interesting story. Yeah. So she, my, you, you, no, 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 she, she Listen was, to the backstory, yeah, yeah, she, but, but, but you see, time, you see what you're work. doing? No. You're, you see what you're doing? No. You're, you're giving you, justifications no, 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 before yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, because, That's because, what I'm saying. You, no, have, no, you have to give no, justification. No, 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 you do because, not just no, say, no. she works about her. No, 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 because you've, you've upstaged me. No. I had a respect. No, because no, no, then, then why do you even you do care? I wouldn't have a mind, I wouldn't have a mind if they asked me first. I'd be like, Burger King. And then you'd be like, oh, mine's a lawyer. And then you'd be like, all right, fine, fine. When a lawyer comes first. When the lawyer comes first. My friend can can't yeah. be did that to me, because then I'd be like, you don't say what your girlfriend does in that situation. But if if I went if if, if I went, oh my girlfriend works at Burger King, and you went, yeah, my girlfriend's a lawyer. <laughs> you knew what you done there. I knew you were done. Wait, 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 you know, you know, you, you, know, you diminished my girl. You diminished her. Oh, what did you say? What your girlfriend did? I'd be, I'd be so annoyed at my mate. So that's what I mean about there need to be justification. I would feel the need to justify. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't cast judgment just yet. <laughs> yes, she works she about the, King, yeah, yeah. but she's working towards yeah, yeah. this. It's a stepping stone. It's a stepping stone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You it's have to give justification. It's a, it's, a, it's a stepping stone. But it's at the not, end not, of the day, a, but what, what, what about a manager? Like a manager, it doesn't matter. You can get a mortgage and stuff from a manager's mat, bro. Still zero respect. Really? I, to get that to, the, 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 like if you have like, I, I, um. McDonald's, they even put you like Hamburger University and things like that. Hamburger <laughs> University? I mean, f me. But you Hamburger have to University? You have to it sounds like kids' school. <laughs> it sounds like what they teach you in primary school. Ooh, one day you could end up in Hamburger University. It's like, come on. Like, you can't respect that. Can't you? Even when you said it, I picture the hamburger with a smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> what do we say? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you know, you know what I mean? No, this isn't me. This is maybe my Tom Snobbery coming into it. But if I want to be real and honest with the the people that are listening, I would be like, but I've 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 done it to myself. Like when I've been at a comedy gig, and they're like, "What do you do for a living?" And I, I haven't been working at the time. Mm. I just say I work in sales. Oh, really? Because I'm embarrassed. Yeah. Because I don't want everyone judging. Because sometimes you've got your own plan, mm. and you know your plan. And you're working your plan, but no one, but no one knows, else on the outside, knows, no one else on the outside knows what the plan is. So you have to so, justify so, so, it. So you look, you look like you're not doing well. Yeah, you look, yeah. but you're like, no, everything's going according to plan. <laughs> yeah, this is according to plan. <laughs> this is your plan. Yeah, but I'm like, I don't care now. No, I don't give a. F no, I know, but so that is, and this isn't me like thinking that people work in Burger King because we do have a loyal listener. Who, yeah, yeah. But he openly said, I don't give a crap about it. Mm. But he works in Burger King. And this is what I mean. Why? Why but should I? I, why I should, don't why, disrespect why, why, that. Why should you be felt feel as though what you're doing, if you can justify it to your like, if you if you're okay with it yourself, because you know how the world gets on. You know how people think. We want, we want respect from other people. You do, and like you know, people look at you like, oh, like there's no point in bringing that oof into it. Mm. There's more point to avoid it. That's why I just not mention it. Yeah, but then because you, I don't want to deal with that. This, but, oh, but, Pete's gone but, out with someone from Burke. But, but this is what I, I mean. don't want that negative energy infiltrating. Like if I told everyone in the office, oh yeah, my girlfriend works, like she she flips burgers at Burger King. No, you wait for your. No, and, and the whole office has successful partners, whatever. I would protect my partner because I wouldn't want that judgment coming on me or her. No, no, what, what, what? She's completely fine of it. That she shows up in a But that's someone would that's what you would expect from someone that you took the job. You accepted the job. I would accept to make that from you. Why? Because you've taken the job. No, no, I can be honest with you. I can be honest with you. If I if I I used to always think, yeah. Yeah. Why wouldn't everyone just sell drugs? Why don't everyone sell drugs? Like if you go that low, I'd just sell drugs. Yeah. And then I thought But people have respect for themselves. What do you mean? What do you mean? What? No, 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 get your words up. Huh? What'd you say? Get your words up. What do you mean? No, people have respect. They're like, they don't want to do it the um, slimy, um, easy way. I can, I can tell you. They want to play, not, play by the rules. They want to play by law. I can, and tell, I can tell you, it's not easy. It's not about being easy. You just said a slimy, easy way. 
It is. It's the underworld. Oh, so you gotta the, sell crack to the kids. <laughs> gotta get paid. Right? <laughs> no. Yeah, but like, but no, no, they no, want to play. They want to play by the law. Yeah, yeah. But this is what I mean. So I looked at it, and and, and that's what I realized. As you grow older, you realize there's certain things you don't want to engage in for your own moral reasons. Yeah. Mm. And then I'd think, okay, if I had to work in Burger King, McDonald's to provide for my family, would I do it? You see, yes, of I would. course I would. But do I would it. take off my uniform before I leave the premises. <laughs> I'd keep that. I'd keep that uniform well hidden yeah, no, it'd be, it'd at be, home. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be, I don't even think I'd show like, my like, kids. Like, the McDonald's one takes a piece. The McDonald's they have the M on the back of the pocket. They have it on the ass. <laughs> you see that does take, and it's a little one, isn't it? A bright no, no, yellow. No, 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 no. On the on the pocket. I think it meant on the pocket. The pocket is an M. Yeah, yeah. Like, like on a the giant M. one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like, but but this is the thing. I would work there. Yeah, I would as well. I would hundred percent. But. My perception of the outside world judging me because... No, I, when I go there, I respect them. No, I, I respect the some staff. Like, you're putting in a hard day's graft. I res- some of them take the piss, though. Like that one at Burger King who didn't give me the discount. Mm. She's taking the... You're a job's worth. Now mm. I've got zero respect for you. Yeah, but that's a This is why, why you are here. No, no, you can't, you can't say that. Why? Because you're diminishing all the ones... No, but they're not like that. Yeah, but you're, say, but, but, yeah, but you're saying this is why you're here. No, but she was a d- that one. Yeah, but you can't you say this is why you're here because you're, you're downplaying everybody else. No, no, no. No, I'm just having a go at her. No, but, but you're saying, but it's like saying this. Imagine there's a group of people, yeah, in yeah. a classroom and someone acts like a prick and you're like, yeah, that's why you're in this stupid class. And everyone in the class is like, oh, this is what you think of us. Not you lot, just him. You lot are trying to get out of the class. No, we're, not. We're, no, we're all fine in the class. You're yeah. happy to be here? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, then, then you are all idiots. Then. <laughs> but that's what I mean. Everyone at Burger King is probably not completely happy to be there. Like, I yeah, but why, but sometimes is... I'm on the motorway and I go to these services, man, and there's like an old lady working at Burger And I'm like, what the f*** is this, man? No, I, I She's seen, working like, and she, she shouldn't be here. I've, I've seen, I was like, what, like, what, why what, is what not... wrong turns did you make in your life? It's not even the wrong turn. It's maybe she could. she's a result of circumstance. Maybe she didn't decide, like, that's the only... T- but come on, someone of that age, that's the only job she can get in society? Mm. Like, there should... Be, we're not doing enough if that's... Because I do feel bad. And you hear, like, I was in Asda, a 24-hour Asda. They don't have those anymore. They do up north. Oh, do they? They still down, keep them up for 24 hours? Down south, in Southampton. Really? And there, I heard the staff having... A, and there was an old lady. And I was thinking... This and then I heard another couple talking that were staff because they had loads of staff. And she was moaning, she was like, She's like, the manager was saying, We get all this done. And now I'm talking, I couldn't even move in the aisles because there were so many crates, mm. like from the, you know. Mm. I was just thinking, This is what people have to do to make a living now. Mm. It's just sad. And I'd love to be able to help them. But not actually, do you think, do you think perception would change if people at Burger King got paid 100 grand a year? No, because they have a good salary now, I think. Do they? Uh, they do, yeah. I you think ju- they... you, you just said they don't get paid very much. N- the people that flip the burgers. Yeah, but a hundred grand a year job. Would you be embarrassed? Would you be embarrassed if Charlotte worked a hundred grand a year job? hundred grand. It's not the money. Top one percent. So... It's not the money. Really? It's the restaurant. I, so, so, it's... <laughs> so, 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 so Charlotte can earn a hundred more money than you. More money than the people you're talking to. No, I then you're. I'd be confused because I'd be like, "How's working?" A, I just everyone would want to work a Burger King. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. Do you think that changes the perception of it? It's not the money. It's the restaurant. It's the so, name. So, 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 you think if she was pulling in, it's greasy. 150 grand a year. 150 grand a year. You that's come, top, you come back that's covered in grease. One, that's top one percent. They walk about the front of the thing and they slide about. No, they don't. No, they they, don't. they slide on I'm the sorry, grease. No, what, what, what I find embarrassing is when they have the um. The, the hair nets the, on the beard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you're taking the piss. <laughs> like, you're taking, like, I couldn't live working those conditions. I'll come here like this. Like this. I'll change my beard. I'll just change it. It's not <laughs> the point. Oh, it's like a, be- a beard net. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you have to. Food hygiene reasons. Yeah. Oh, I can't, man. All right, let's, let's, do, let's do a dilemma and let's get out of here one second. What is it? But yeah, no, I do have respect for, for everyone who works in these places, but I do, I would, if it was my partner, I would be like, do we have to tell people? Even if it was me. I don't think. I, I, if it was me. And I have worked at places like that. 
But I've still been like, oh, I'm just not going to talk about it. Because mm. there's no point. Because people judge, man. All right, this is an interesting one. Yeah? This is a dilemma, yeah? I have a dilemma. I'm a lesbian and the woman I have been in love with since I was younger is transitioning into a man now. I'm still very much in love with them, but I'm a lesbian. Help. Signed, lesbian. <laughs> I don't understand what. <laughs> she's, she's a lesbian. She, she's a lesbian and she's, she's been in love with someone. And that person's now transitioning into a man. But she's a lesbian. Who's a lesbian? The, no, the man. Okay, no. No. One, there are two, um, two, imagine it's two lesbians, yeah? Two lesbians. Who are women? Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Two women lesbians. Right. Yeah. One is now, I want to be a man and transitioning into a man. Right. Yeah. She's And the other one's saying, like, what, what do I do? You got any advice for me? But is it? But is she still a woman then? Who? After she goes to a man. Is she still a woman after she goes to a man? No, she's transitioning into a man. Yeah, so is she still a lesbian after going to a man? I, you can't be. Are you? You're not a lesbian. You're now a normal she, couple. Oh, but she wants to stay with the lesbian? Yeah. So now they're just both straight then? Yeah. Oh, but the lesbian doesn't want to be straight. The lesbian likes women, but this one's trans transitioning into a man. What, with her? Is she all right with it? It was who all right with it? The lesbian. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Hey, I, can't, want, I can't, I can't talk. Do you want to put out into pajamas? <laughs> B1, L1 and L2. <laughs> Lesbians in pajamas. <laughs> I'm coming down the stairs. <laughs> lesbians. Big, big lesbian pajamas. No way. Yeah. So wait, hold on. One is a lesbian. They're both lesbians. One, currently, currently, one is making a transition to being a man. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So she wants okay. to be a man. She could be a man, and now this lesbian is going to be like, "All right, I'm no longer a lesbian anymore because kind of, but I, I, I want to be." I, I don't understand then because uh, you're also now now you're making me straight. Yeah, you you're forcing straightness upon me. Yeah, that's what she's doing basically. Yeah. So she she's clearly not happy with being forced straightness upon her. So she has. She has you can't force straightness she, upon someone who has, wants to be a lesbian. Has, yeah, because if I was dating a woman and she's like, I want, I want to, I want to be a man. man. I'd be like, Ooh, so we got to split up. But what oh if, yeah, so yeah, what, yeah, if, yeah. what if you loved her? What? What if you loved her? Yeah. What's love got to do with it? <laughs> <laughs> what's love got when when a <laughs> appears in the <laughs> bedroom? What's love got to do with it? No. Okay. <laughs> Uh, what if she's like it's my vagina inverted <laughs> yeah 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 but i can't go inside it anymore oh, what, okay would you, would you feel comfortable with this if charlotte transitions to a man but she kept no her... we've talked about this i've said no thank you i can't do that she goes but we've been going out so long i'm like yeah but you're it's different for me why oh my god <laughs> because you're a man <laughs> Yeah, but you're, you're a man you now. Have sex anyway. No, yeah, yeah. She, she, she can have sex with me. If she... <laughs> but, um, you know, how would you feel? I'd feel confused. Confused with my I, own I, sexuality. I, I wouldn't be confused. I would be confused. I would I'd be, be confused because I'd be like, why, why are you doing this to me? Who would you leave? We've got a son together. <laughs> two, no, no, two, two dads, dads. <laughs> two dads, two dads. Two dads. Mm. No, we got a son. Come on, you can't. Oh, it's an awkward thing because what? What is a lesbian today? What is a lesbian? Someone that goes out with a woman. Mm. A woman that goes out with a woman. Yeah. Mm. So if you then become straight, she. What does she think? What, what do you mean? What What does she want to do? She doesn't say. She's actually not our opinion. I could have... also imagine like you're a lesbian and everything you stand for is lesbian, right? And then you go over to the other side. <laughs> you're like, but if, uh, you're this, gonna... man, this man's angry. Why is this man angry with a man? <laughs> no, but you'd be like, you'd be, you'd be like, you're going over to the other side. Like you're not, we're, we stood together, right? Mm. Like you're lesbian for a reason, right? She's just attracted to women. So would the man then go out with women or would he go out with men? No, you've got, he's probably still attracted to women. 
He's attracted to women. Mm. So he wants. He always wanted to be a straight man then? Yeah, probably. But the other woman, the, it's the problem is the other lesbian. Because mm. she's he's transitioning something that she's not attracted to. Yeah, you can't expect someone to do that. Especially if you were once a lesbian. So would you think it's a relationship's over? Finished. Yeah, finished. Forget about him. He was a man you never wanted to be with. Yeah, I think I think I think yeah, you, your relationship <coughs> your relationship's got to be over. You can't you can't force that. You can't force a whole new person on somebody. You can't like you can you can suggest it, but you can't. It's like if someone wants to try, but no, I can imagine people like oh no, that's that's transphobic. It's not transphobic. What, what's, like that. what's transphobic? Oh, because because they're changing sex. You don't want to be with them anymore. Yeah. No, but this is what people do. Mm. They try and say <clears throat> that it's like a. They try and say, oh, it's because you hate that. But it's not because you hate that. I'm, we're just just saying, I'm not attracted saying, to that. No, yeah, yeah. That wasn't what she signed up for. Mm. Did she sign up for that? Because mm. otherwise she would have been straight then, wouldn't she? Mm. But is but what they're acting like is that a transitioned man is not a real man then. That's what those people are saying. You're actually saying a transitioned man is not a real man. Why? If you're going to say that it's not okay... For, for him to be a transitioned man while the lesbian is thing. Cause I'm the, confused. <laughs> but that, this is what I'm saying. What, what? If you're, if people are going to kick off about you saying that she, she um, no, no, she's transitioned, so that's all right. But then you're saying, well, she's not an, a real man then. You're saying she's a transitioned man. Mm. You're saying she's not a real man. Mm. Because if transitioning to a man and then it's like, I'm a man, is the way the world is going to see it? Then shut up and let a lesbian not be happy with sleeping with him. In then, mm, mm. yeah, it's true. You little. F- d- All right, no one's done it yet. So calm no, down. No, but they do kick off about mm, that. Mm. So it's like if you want to actually see it like a man, not a transitioned man. You want to see him? Is it him? Him here yeah. for who? He he is. <laughs> then you have to accept that if a lesbian has gone out with him, then you have to accept that. It's okay for her to be repulsed by it. Yeah, all right, cool. repulsed. You know, well, she is repulsed. She doesn't want to go out with the man, does she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think I think your relationship's over. But if, you, if, if other people if are like, partner, no, you have to respect her for transitioning to be a man. You yeah, have to stay in the relationship. No, you have to stay in the relationship. No, that's what you can't they, they might say you. that, and that's when you have to go. No, if you see it like an actual man, no, not a transitioned to. man, mm. then you understand the repulsiveness of a lesbian wanting to sleep with the man, mm. right? They like women. They like women. Yeah. So, but this is what I mean. There's so much much custard around. Around when this conversation, the conversation is there. Let's throw custard on the floor. Now everyone walk around the conversation and slip over, because that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to cause us to slip over mm. because it's not clear. There's no clarity. Yeah, we're walking listen, around listen custard. Okay, this is this is what this is what I will say. What I'm attracted to, I have a right to be attracted to. <laughs> It's our pedos, like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. No, the pedos like, like nah, I was joking. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like this podcast before, but now it's back talking sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Skip Phillips Scofield was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Scofield. <laughs> no, two consenting adults. Yeah, I'm I'm able to be attracted to another. Like you can't force me to like a particular adult. No, they're not trying to. But what they're trying to force you to do is say. If your partner transitions, no, no, no. they're trying to say, oh, but no, no, no yeah. you should still embrace them because that's what they want. But no, you shouldn't because about, now it's now a man. What about, what about, oh, do you know, do we've got time? We've got, we've got another, another question about someone talking about fat shaming. Should we squeeze that in on quickly? Yeah, squeeze in the fat shaming one. Yeah, she, she was like, she was like, do you know how many people skinny shame? Yeah. Yeah, like I, I, I get made to feel bad because I'm, 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 I'm skinny and, and, and black men don't like me. And uh, you, you know, oh. big thighs, big bum, I don't have it. She wants black men to like the skinniness. Yeah. But it's a personal preference. Black men like big bodies. No, 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 it's not, it's not that. But my point, my point is this. Yeah. Sure bodies. Do, do you, do you think it would be okay the reason why I brought it up with that conversation, mm. do you think it would be okay to split up with a woman because she's put on weight? Because you... <laughs> you're like, I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> <laughs> no. I didn't uh, sign up for this. But this is what, like, everyone should be entitled to let themselves go for a, pre- for a period of time, I think. <laughs> no, once again, everyone should have a grace period. 
It's perfect. Yeah, it's over the six month mark now. You're coming dangerously close. You're coming dangerously to the edge. Yeah. No, but it is one of my massive worries that one day Charlotte will be massive. Because that is something that I'm like, come on. I, I did also because I'm, I'm I'm scared. I'm scared of a woman. I think I'll never come skinny. <laughs> oh, skinny. Pass her over here. Are you sick? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, but if, if, if I think the same thing, if a woman gets found, I'm like, are you sick? Thyroids, <laughs> diabetes. <laughs> like you know, like but, I, but is, it, is it okay to split up with someone based on that, on that criteria? Look, look, it depends who you want to be with. So, so both second. parties. Would you? Would you? Okay. Do you want to be your with sister, someone? That's... One second. One second. Your sister comes to you and says, "My partner, the sister that you like, yeah, she comes to you and says, my partner left me because he said I'm too fat." Well, I'd be like, "You didn't want him anyway, then." No, no, no. I didn't want to marry him. No, you didn't. He wants a fat. He doesn't want a fat woman, and you're fat. Would you say that to her? Well, she's asking. She said, "I've got fat." No, no. She says he left me because he said I'm too fat. All oh, right. I'd be like, "You're not. Fat. How fat is she?" <laughs> Like we talking, like she waddles into yeah, the room. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Would you, would you, would like you... I'd be like, you're not fat. Come on. Like come, I'd say, come. Do you want to be? What are you, are you happy with the way you are? Let's get something to eat and talk about this. We're going Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd be like, we're, I'd be like, we're, what? What? You want to eat? Yeah. I'd be like, if you're not happy, do you feel happy in yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, do. I don't like working then, out. Then, then don't work out. Then he wasn't for you. He wasn't for you. Do you, do you think I'm still attractive? Like, do you think men will find me attractive? But it's my sister. I'm not going to say that. Okay. <laughs> do, you, do you think... Do you, if Charlotte got to my size, would you mind? To your size now? <laughs> yeah. Muscular. Not me, you stupid... Charlotte, come to me! Why are you getting a bed over me? <laughs> Head of the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd be, I'd be like... No, personally, I'm like, come on. I like to be... Would you? My point of question is like this. me and Charlotte you, went for a jog what, yesterday. Second, do you think it's acceptable? You're putting this on me. Hold on one second. You and Charlotte went for a jog yesterday. We went for a jog together. Where was yeah. Owen? Yeah, Charlotte's mom looked after him. So why weren't no fucking going on then? This is what she was saying. She was probably like making a, it happened and we went for a run in the day. No, it happened you, in the evening. Can you, can, can, you, can you imagine? You got time alone. Let's go do no, some exercise. And she only did three laps and then went home. Really? Yeah, and I was a bit like, why Why did you leave? Well, we could have gone for a run. But I like doing that with my partner. I like working out Wait, with why them. Why don't you f We could have. We. Uh, well, well, I'm not for next time. No, it's because you satisfied yourself the night before. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. Did you satisfy yourself the night before? No, I didn't. Because I was in the bed with them. Not that that was the reason. I'm just saying oh, that's the proof. That's the, the proof. The proof is in the pudding. <laughs> the proof is in the pudding. Oh. But what what the point I'm making is, is like... But some people, I always think that you should go with someone the same similar... But thing. people change. It's people change. People change. But... but like, there's Married at First Sight is going on at the minute, yeah? Mm. You've watched a bit of it? I saw a little bit of it. Married at it's First Sight, there's, there's a guy in it that was like, you, I don't normally go for women as big as you. He was not interested in that woman at all. No, he wasn't. Yeah, he was, like, 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 we'll work on it. Who the f*** was he But I'm mate, looking at him like... I'm looking at him like... With his hair cut down, comes out here. Mate, you're fat yourself. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anything. No, but it's like, who the f*** are you? But hold on. Fat Well, Yeah, but hold on. Fat <laughs> but you're, you're, but you're. If an Asian woman come up to you and she, and you're like, oh, I don't really like Asian women, you should like, Asian yourself. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> no, go on. Okay, good point. Good point. Point well <laughs> taken. Point well received. Um, let me try and come back at that. I'll try and I'll try and <laughs> rebuttal it. Um, so she then said she then tried, I think, to put it on him that oh, you don't want to rip my clothes off. You don't want to rip my clothes off. But it's like. Why do you want him to want to rip your clothes off? He's not for you. Exactly. And they try and make it like you're a bad person because you're not attracted to that person. Uh, they, but it's not my fault. I don't choose what I'm attracted to. Yeah, and I did get his point about going... He, he called her a four, though, didn't he? Never do that. To, and that's disrespectful. That's dis Even if you don't find her attractive, give her a seven at least. A seven is a safe no, no, bet. But, no, but it's he, false hope then. No, but... He said, if I don't want to, I'll be like, look, I'm... And, he did, and he did have sex with her. Because she is, he did have sex with her. Mm. To probably keep her quiet, maybe. 
or give to be like, let's try and see but if we can get this to work. Yeah, but that's what that show does. Mm. That, that show, obviously, they get together. They're like, let's see if it works. So you're you're in an experiment now to try and find that person attractive. She, no, no, I think she is attractive. I don't, I don't think. But she she's, I think she is attractive, but she's not my type of person. So what does that mean then? I could look at her and go, "You are pretty, and you're you're a beautiful woman. You're very beautiful, but I'm not attracted to you." Because I can find loads of women beautiful, but I'm not attracted to them. I can look at her and go, she's... Can, can, she's can, you, can you do that for men as well? I can look at a man and go, he's attractive, but I'm not attracted to him. I'd look at you and go, you're attractive. I can see women finding you attractive, but I'm not attracted yeah, to you. Yeah, you can do that. You can do that. So, I, so, I, I, and I, I look I at her really, and go... I don't really find that with women, though. Huh? I don't really find that with women. I can say, look at a man and be like, I can see why women like you. But if I look at a woman, I don't like her. I just think, no man should like you. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. I don't, I, if I don't like a woman, I'm like, this woman's just ugly. She's not for me. She's not no, for me. She's not ugly. You can look no, at that woman no, and go, I, she's I, not I, ugly. I, I, no, that woman. No, I, I don't think she's ugly. I, I think, think she's ugly. good looking. I think she's alright. But she, she's. I like him thicker. So I, I, she, she could look. She. Yeah, but do you think if he'd said to her, "I like you," I'd like you to be a bit thicker, would she have reacted the same way? No. There was there was there, there was another guy on there, mm. and the other guy he wasn't attracted to his partner either, and she was what, like, "What woman was that?" Um, you're kind of posh guy, the kind of posh guy, and she was like, well, "What's wrong with me? I'm not like I'm, I'm, I've got bit curves on me. I'm not an ogre. I'm not an ogre." Oh, is that the guy that had the teeth? I don't know. What, I don't know. There's one guy on there that just seems a bit weird, and he, he was expecting to get matched up with the ten out of ten. No, no, he no, he said he said he thought he thought that um, she reminded me of his sister, of his sister. That's the fat guy. That's the guy who I was no, talking about from no, the beginning. No, no, that's not that guy. That's not that guy. It's another guy who said that. He thinks she was. No, his no, no. Well, that's who I've been talking about. <laughs> no, no, I know you're talking about. You're talking about the guy from Essex. This guy with the tattoos. There's another guy who's quite posh. He seems quite posh. Yes, and he said, you look like my sister. That's the one I was talking about from the beginning of this conversation. <laughs> no, you're talking about the, the other guy that's kind of fat. There's a the guy Essex who's guy. kind of fat and he's very posh. And he's like, I just don't want to rip her clothes off. That Who says his partner looks a bit big. Oh, That's there's, what an I was talking there's, about. there's another guy who called... He didn't call his partner a four. The other guy called his partner a four. Oh, yes. He's ugly. <laughs> he's just got white teeth. Yes. That's all you bring to the table, teeth. your white he's teeth. He's got a turkey teeth. Turkey, turkey teeth, teeth, and he's ugly. <laughs> I think... Me and Charlotte think he thinks he's better looking than he is. Mm. And he wanted a 10 out of 10. And he got, like, someone he's not happy with. He, he likes the other girl. Who? What girl? The one with the brunette. The brunette. And she's like, oh, he, that's the kind of girl he goes for. She, 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 There's another girl in there he likes. What girl? The brunette that's with the black guy? No, not that one. Not that one. Oh, that one. Mm -mm. Who's the brunette? There's another brunette who she said she didn't sleep with her partner on the first night. Oh. Yeah, he just seems like a boy. Mm. He's got the white teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he that's fluorescent teeth. That's the one he calls his, yeah, he called her a four. And he's like, I'm not attractive. But this is what I mean. You can't blame someone for not being attracted to you. You can't, but then there's no need to be rude about it. No, definitely not. Don't give them a complex. Just say you're not for me. But but do you do? You, but that is a very hard pill, a bitter pill to swallow. If someone's like, I'm not attracted to you anymore. Can we go our separate ways? I think it's a bitter pill for the person receiving that if they do find them attractive. What would you mean? Like if Charlotte said that to me, we're going our separate. I'd be like, this is ridiculous because I do find you attractive. If she's if, if Charlotte says she don't find you attractive. Yeah, I'd be like, this is that's a better pill for me to swallow. Yeah, it's a bit of, yeah, of course. If it's a, it's a bit of pill for the person who, if someone says to you, "I don't want to be with you anymore because I don't find you attractive," and you still like that person, that's horrible. It's horrible. It's a bit of pill. That's horrible. Yeah, but your question was about the size. Yeah, if if you go, if you someone said to you, "I don't want to be with you because of the size of you," you you've got fat. It's harder, but if you the thing is, if someone said to me. I'm not happy with the size of you. You've gotten fat. It's not going to take me long to get fat. But if but if I'm fat and someone says to me, I'm not happy with you because of the size of you, I prefer them skinny. It's going to take me a long time to get skinny. How long you got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's okay. Is this is this over or are you giving me a warning? Yeah, yeah. Is, is yeah, a, yeah. Is a warning? You need to give me time yeah, to, yeah, to yeah, work yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's what I mean. It's harder to put on. It's harder to lose weight than it is to put on weight. Mm. So I'd much rather. But then if a partner wanted me to get fat, 
and I'm not fat, mm. my thought then would be, have you got a fetish going on? Some sort of fetish? Yeah, yeah. It's not it's not, it's not about getting someone fat. It's, it's how you find, you've got some people who lean towards thicker, some people towards skinny. Exactly, like personal preference. Mm. And I think that's what it comes down to. And I think we're, we're moving into this Nancy Pantsy kind of era where, where everybody like, has to be accepted by everybody. No. No, no, you I don't. don't. Like, and that, I don't that's like why everybody. people get depressed. Yeah. That's why you're all getting depressed right now. Because you're being made to feel by the world now that what you're thinking is wrong. So you're keeping these thoughts internal. Mm. You're keeping your thoughts. Like if I wanted to have a... Con like there's so many things that a lot of people come to us for the podcast because they're like, oh my God, it's like I feel normal. Mm. I actually... Oh, my depression's cured when I listen. Why? Because you're hearing what you're fucking thinking and thinking, wow, the someone truth. thinks the same thing. The it's the truth. You're but the problem is you're people pleasing we at the minute. We don't, we don't do the dancing around. We're not fucking uh, going on. Like we're not like these other podcasts bullshit. Lot. Mm. It's the real deal here. And, and and that's another thing. We don't ever try to offend anybody. We just try to say how we feel. No, and not nothing. And this is what I'm saying. And, and I know some people that work in Burger King, McDonald's may look at this and go, do you know what? Pete's being a dick. But I'm being honest. Mm. I'm, I don't hate you for working in that job. I actually quite respect it, but I would keep it quiet. I would keep it quiet because I, I don't want to deal with the f***ing comeuppance of it. I, I respect anybody that puts in a hard day's graft to provide for themselves or their family, man. A legitimate, where you're yeah, not yeah. harming anybody else. That's res uh, yeah. you can respect that. But mm. when we're talking about being social gatherings, <laughs> keep that to yourself. <laughs> leave, leave the leave the burger, the, the, the extra cheese royale in the car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and leave a uniform there as well. Yeah, we're, doing, yeah. we're, we're, we're talking about your work day yeah. when we get home. Just but like, I, I, I don't. I, but this is what I mean. This is how society gets on. Society is ext In fact, people talk about. Oh, we shouldn't judge. We shouldn't judge. But no, but you, but, you're, but you are, but you are keeping it quiet because you care about other people. So I am. Being... I'm trying to protect them. No, but you're, but you're not. You're actually playing into the game. No, no. But the game, because the game is being played. If what? everyone's playing the game, I'm, I'm the one that's saying, let's stop this stupid fucking game. Yeah, but when, it, when, it, when everyone, someone goes, you're part of what's Burger King. Hey, the time to go. <laughs> yeah, no. But I don't like the game. The game. The game currently is, um, the world now is saying, don't judge, don't judge, no, don't saying, judge. We're trying to say we've got to be perfect. The world is saying, don't judge. That is the current message of the world. Do not judge. Yet you're all judging because you judge someone for being having an opinion or what. So, so you're actually judging. The world now is saying, don't judge. Is currently judging. Because they're the ones that go out and say, you shouldn't say that. No, he said that. You shouldn't have said that. It's like, but you're judging him. You're judging him. But you can judge. We should judge. We should, should judge. We, we should judge. We should judge. We should judge. Like, what's the fucking message here? We have to. Should we judge or not? No, my point is, they're acting like they're saying don't judge. But everyone does judge. So why can't we judge everything then? Why can't we talk and have conversations and just... Take it for what it is. If someone says a joke that's slightly wide of the mark, okay, good, good effort, not for me. Mm. Take it for what it is. It was an effort to be socially acceptable to make people laugh. Yeah. You don't have to persecute the man and kill him for it and lynch him. But I think that's how people nowadays try to get No, no, little... it's mob mentality. And this is why a lot of you are getting depressed because you're not feeling free. Because you're feeling isolated. Because you can't talk about how you're feeling. Because you fear being judged. And but you said you should judge. You, you should. <laughs> you should. But I'm trying to just... I, I'm trying to lay all my cards on the table so that... Should you judge or shouldn't you? Some. T let me give you an example. Sometimes I talk about... I wouldn't... Uh, big women aren't for me. Mm. Talk about it openly. Yet if I meet a big woman, I think in my head. Have you seen the podcast? <laughs> if someone sees, if someone showed you a clip of something I said, you'd judge me. But I love you. Yeah, but this I is love a, you. But this is my point. I actually really okay, like okay, you. Okay, okay, this is my I point. I just won't sleep with you because you're not for me. Okay, this is my point. Just because we, it's like we, it does feel, it does feel nice. If you could read everyone's thoughts and someone goes, oh, oh. Pete, is, Pete is really nice, but I find him ugly. 
That would hurt your feeling. You yeah, that that would, your, it hurt your feeling. Yeah, it would hurt my feeling. I'm not uh, saying I'm no, no, going to no, tell no, no, you no, a second, second, But this is my point. But that's the truth. Now, it doesn't change anything. Because we're having a conversation, we're talking. No, no, it would affect me. It would affect me. Because the whole time, if I saw that thought played out, if someone said, I'm like, talking, oh, how, how's it going? She's like, do you know what? I like this guy, but I think he's ugly. <laughs> what would you do? What would you <laughs> So, you, you going anywhere on holiday this year? You think I'm ugly, though. So, explain yourself. No, you couldn't, you couldn't. But they don't have any control over <laughs> I know, it. I know, but I read your thoughts. You couldn't reveal Explain that. Explain yourself. You what do you mean? I don't, I just don't, how did you? No, you I don't, said I don't, ugly. I don't find you ugly. You I, said ugly. No, you said I, ugly I, in your head. I've read it. I, 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 what? No, no, no. I didn't say that. No, you said ugly though. Yeah, ugly. I understand not fancying me. <laughs> uh, maybe I could work on that. Maybe bring my personality into it. Give me a chance. But you said ugly. You said ugly like there's never going to be a chance. You said ugly. You're not my type. Yeah, but then say, then think that. <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to be PC in my mind. That's what these guys' the problem is. They're trying to be PC in the head, and it doesn't work like that. <laughs> Me, that's why they're fucking dropping like flies now. Cause they're fucking scared. They're scared to think the fucking shit. <laughs> oh man, we gotta get out of it. We gotta get out of it, guys. Listen, oh my God. for more on his chat, sign up to our Patreon sign and support Patreon. your boys. We love. You know what? The beautiful thing about me and Pete is. Between us, between us, yeah. we love all women. Between, between us, us, between us, you between get us. everything. Yeah, yeah, between so us. So if it's not one, you get the other. Yeah, yeah, fifty percent of us go this way, fifty percent yeah. of us go that way. Don't worry, you get love from us. And, and, and it's men, honest opinions. Yeah, we 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 are honest. Yeah, check out the Patreon. Go over to Patreon. It's free pounds a month. Come on, man. Come on, man. Jam, support your boy. We're boys. struggling. Yeah, listen, hit the bell, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell if you're watching. Ding, if you're on ding. the podcast app, please hit but, the but, um, ding, follow. Ding. <laughs> please hit the follow button. And leave a five star review because it helps us out tremendously. Yeah. Listen, we love and, and you. If all. anyone's personally affected by anything that's been said on the podcast, go f yourself. All right? Because we're we love you. Yeah, we do. So don't do. be don't be panicking. We love each and every one of you. We're just open to have open discussions and enjoy it. And don't listen to all these pretender podcasts out there that are fing tickling your balls right now. Because yeah. they don't know what they're talking about. They're saying what they want you to hear so that you think they're good people, so that you pay money and go to their shows. Yeah. We're, we want you to pay money and come to our shows. <laughs> but but we're, 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 we're being real about I, it. I, I, only those of you that rock along with us. Yeah. yeah. We ain't going to fake it. We, we ain't going to fake it to get you in the room. We're not faking it to get yeah. you in the room. But guys, we, we've done job stoppers. What's job stuff? We we say stuff that we just never will never work again. Oh yeah, we, we can't. We, we can't never, work again. We never because they, they, we're sacrificed. Can... We're the sacrificial lambs for you lot at home. Yeah. All right, but guys, we love you so much. We Thank love you each for spending and every this time. Thank you. It's been Luke and Pete talking shit. Take care, guys. See you later.